Hurricane season begins Saturday and it's forecasted to keep the National Hurricane Center busy. Jacob Morris gives us a look inside the operations. Located in Miami, Florida, the National Hurricane Center forecasts the track and intensity of tropical cyclones in the entire Atlantic Basin and Eastern Pacific from their development until potential landfall. This starts with satellite imagery. We're looking for clusters of thunderstorms that could go on to become a tropical storm or hurricane. So we issue a routine, what's called Tropical Weather Outlook. And as those disturbances begin to organize, that's when we open what we call INVEST. As it develops into a tropical depression, they'll start to issue five-day forecasts, and if sustained wind speeds reach 39 miles per hour, it'll get a name. The seasonal outlook is the most aggressive ever, with potentially double the normal number of major hurricanes, category three or higher on the Saffir-Simpson scale. This is due to extremely warm ocean water to provide fuel for storms and a developing La Nina that typically leads to less wind shear that would tear apart hurricanes in the Atlantic. These storms can be highly sensitive to wind shear uh, as well as dry air. And so it's getting better understanding of that and really also getting more observations in and around the hurricane to improve the forecast. Hurricane hunters fly into the center of storms to determine their size and strength. When they're flying, the forecasts are generally about 15 to 20 percent better. New ways to communicate the hazards associated with hurricanes are being developed. We've always issued hurricane watches and warnings, but now we can actually put up a warning for storm surge, which has the potential to be the highest loss of life in hurricanes. Flooding and tornadoes can also accompany hurricanes, so the NHC relies on NSEP partners for these forecasts. For your news leader, I'm Jacob Morris. Next week, Jacob will tell us more about the Aviation Weather Center.